Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about going to pre-release, what you should expect, what you should bring with you, uh, what, you know, pretty much the guide to going to pre-release, as well as to encourage you guys to go out, go have fun at pre-release. I think it's one of the best events. I always try to go to pre-release. I like to try to go to a different place than I normally go to and pretty much there are reasons for that. I like to have the bigger crowd. Uh, it's kind of nice because when there's more people you can talk to more people uh, as opposed to like eight people and then yeah pre-release can get kind of boring pretty fast. Now why should you go to pre-release? Pre-release is in my opinion probably the ideal ideal time to pick up magic. If you're a new player, you're a casual player, my pre-release that I go to actually has casual magic players. Now, I might actually play casual. I played casual once and I actually enjoyed it far more than the more aggressive payouts and primarily because when you're playing casual, it's nice. You can teach people. They can look at your binder. You can play it's a lot more fun in my opinion. Uh, so at my pre-release, there's two groups. There's the casual players or the people who had to leave home early and cannot stay until like eight in the morning. And then there's the more aggressive players. I've done both um, on separate occasions, of course. And the casual players are just a lot more fun to deal with. Uh, they are, and they're still learning pretty much all of them. And when I need to leave early and I don't feel like bad leaving because the prize pool isn't that much. Plus the fact that the casual players get the prize pool. I, it's just an overall better experience in my opinion. And for me at this stage of my magic career, if you will. Uh, Pre-release, a lot of fun. Definitely look out for expeditions. And I really want you guys to do this for me. If a new player gets an expedition, you have to have to protect them from, you know, the possible sharking, um, even if they want to. I know this is not typical for me to say this, but even if the new player, a lot of times this is what sharks say, hey, that new player really wanted to trade me that card. Just if that player really wants to get rid of the expedition, go in there and just trade them what it's worth. Trade them a deck. I don't care what you're trading them, but I don't want new players or inexperienced players to be trading these expeditions without, even if they understood what they are worth and they're making that decision based on, oh, I'm not going to play Magic that much. That's not, in my opinion, something that you want to be on the receiving end of, meaning you trading for that expedition. Maybe you feel good about yourself for a little bit, but I can tell you as someone who has been on lopsided trades before, eventually it will bite you in the ass uh, one way or another. So expeditions, look out for those. Make sure that if a new player gets an expedition, they understand what it's worth. Uh, that, that it's kind of a, you know, you should keep it, figure it out yourself uh, type of deal. Don't trade this right now. What else do I bring? I bring dice with me. I bring uh, my iPad or my 3DS, depending on who's going to be there. I bring a book. I love reading books. If you watch my other channel, I read books all the time. And I bring uh, Weiss. I bring some Card 5 Vanguard. I bring some Pokemon cards. I have an EDH deck. I don't have Tiny Leaders anymore because I don't feel like that's a good format. I'm pretty much bailed out of Tiny Leaders before, but I used to have Tiny Leaders. I get food with... Getting food with... I would say my best suggestion for a new player is to show up a little bit early, around 10 o'clock, around 11 o'clock. We all head to Chili's uh, to get food together and we talk and it's all people from all walks of life. Uh, older people, younger people. Uh, teenagers, uh, people who are doctors, people who own businesses, and then just people who are students, college students, high school students. And we have a good time going out to eat and we have a good time talking with each other. And at that point, it's not competitive, it's not aggressive, we're just having a good time uh, with other Magic players. And I think that's key to pre-release. Having a good time is the biggest takeaway from pre-release. Um, also, not feeling like you've been cheated either from playing the game, like maybe someone calling a judge and you, all that type of nonsense, or from, you know, trading. So I suggest for new players, do not trade at pre-release. You're not 
going to get a great deal most of the times. So uh, for experienced players, yeah, go ahead, have fun and compete. At least my pre-release is normally 60 to 80 people in the regular one and then 25 casual players. I, I still, I, I don't know, I feel like I do want to do casual, but I feel like that every time and I end up doing the competition one. I top aided the last one, but the previous two I didn't do so well. And it, it, it really comes down to what are your goals from pre-release. Um, I think the number one takeaway is go to pre-release. Don't be afraid, be brave, um, and not, remember all Magic players, were not, they're not all social people, we're all a little weird, I guess, and embrace it. Um, this is a chance for you to make friends, this is a chance for you to socialize with people with the same interests as you. Why would you not want to do do that? Um, I love pre-releases. They are my favorite event. If there's one event I do not skip, it is pre-releases. Now, I guess I'll do the bread more visually. Like I'll do like a screen capture with the bread and a microphone or something. Because I think you need to see the card. So I'll have a primer on how to win your pre-release or how to do well on it. And it's bread, bombs, removal, evasion, aggro, and then drag. Drag meaning the remainders of the deck, the curve, in my opinion. So I'll explain that in another video. And I'll look at the actual cards in this set and I'll go over and maybe review the cards in this set. And I'll also do the expeditions. I definitely want new players to know that these cards do exist. They are 200 plus dollars and you should be interested in keeping them as if you are not playing Magic and you're just playing, playing pre-release, keep them as a token of your pre-release, just like a promo or something, or if you need to trade for a deck, then you can trade for a whole deck with one of these. It doesn't need to necessarily be, you know, a bulk dragon. You can trade for, if you're into dragons, you can trade for a whole set of dragons. You know, maybe a hundred different dragons. I don't know, it depends on the dragon, right? So I would recommend you guys um, be aware that there are going to be expeditions and they are quite valuable. Other than that, just have fun. Um, I always have a blast at pre-release. And you know, if you come to my pre-release, uh, say hi, talk to me. I'm going to be casual unless I make a last minute change, which I made last time. So I'm not, uh, it is uh, ick, 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 ick. Bye guys.